Hey guys, what's going on? Dane here, Gulch Hay Farms. Before we get this video started, make sure you give us a good old thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new here. I can't ever say that word right. Subscribe if you're new here. Anyway, today we kind of have a fun one for you. It's a nice, breezy, brisk. It's not really that breezy, but it's cold. The high today is 40 something, and I know, y'all northerners, oh, that's a good day. Well, not for us. But anyway, um, we've never really gotten a true weight on what the new baler does for our 4x5s. Uh, and so we're going to scale out an entire load today. And, and, and the reason we're doing that is, is because, you know, I don't want to give too much away, but we might end up stepping up into trucks down the road to haul more. And we just need to see where we're at with this trailer, if we need to do anything to this trailer, or whether it be tires, axles, whatever, or do we need to step up in the big boy world where we want to haul a decent amount of weight but anyway today we're using dad's 3500 it's a 2018 it's the cummins it's got the ice and with 410 rear ends pretty good look running truck i just did a fuel filter change on it it was running a little rough so we did that um, and then we've got our texas pride 40 foot trailer back there i don't even know what this truck weighs uh but i the trailer is roughly 10 5 10 6 with chains you know loaded down ready to rock and roll so uh, I got the skid steer warming up right now. Um, we're gonna get 23 bales on here because I know that's a good amount. Um, and then we'll take it to the scale, which is right down the road. And we'll come back and unload them. And then we'll take the truck down to, uh, back down to the scale and get the empty weight on it just so we can get a good average on 23 bales. So it's a 40 foot, they're five foot in diameter. So we'll fit eight on each side. I don't, we don't need to go over the top because I'm, I'm only going to put them back over there where we keep the hay so but that 16 ought to give us a good amount of uh the average for per bales and then we also want to see what the pin weight and the axle weight is uh for you know when we look at the scale ticket as well we want to see how much weight we actually have the pin because we might build a deck up here so we can throw more uh bales on top and maybe we can throw a rack on the back and extend the trailer if we have to, if we try to squeeze another set of bales, but I don't know. We're tossing around all sorts of ideas, but we just need to get a rough weight. Big thing of the new baler and its bale weight. And then also, uh, if we do use this trailer and beef it up, you know, how roughly, how much weight's on the pin, how much weight's on the axle. So I'm actually, I changed my mind while talking to you on the camera. We're gonna run this to the scale real quick. See how the trucks are. I just changed the filters, so I want to make sure it's running in tip top shape before we uh, get after it. So let's go to the scales. My old truck seems to be running a whole lot better. I was hauling a load of hay on our hay trailer, you know, delivering hay, and uh, as soon as I'd mash on it, climbing a hill or something, it would fall on its face. And I even got an engine code. I didn't read the code, but I knew automatically what it was probably some fuel pressure which isn't good you know should change the filter sooner than that dad hasn't had this truck forever and uh you know we don't really know the previous history he hasn't put a whole lot of miles on it either and so uh anyway the fuel filters are changed and it's running like a spotted a-hole it's running good it's running good we're trying to get a minimum of 30 bales on this trailer it's got two 12k axles and so we really don't know where these where these weights are going to land our old bale baler would do about 800 sometimes 900 pounds in like real good hay and then like stockier or stimmy hay it would be like between 750 and 850. and then uh, you know there's a bunch of variables in there based on moisture and whatnot so anyway i just rolled all that at my house and we are going to give it a good old-fashioned whirl that's, those are pretty standard bales about that size and about that type of crop that we probably, I would say 60% of our, or maybe even 70% of our work is or work consists of or the, the hay we sow. And so it'll be give us a good idea. So we're almost over here to the truck stop to get the, the weights and then um, we'll turn around and go load up. Here we are at the old quick trip. I've never done the uh, scale. Oh, that's the way I should have gone. Oh, yeah. I'm assuming you pull up and somebody's going to talk to me on the intercom and they're going to say come get your scale ticket and I'm going to be like okay and then I that's just an assumption you know what they say about 
assumptions or people who assume. <laughs> Let's see what it says here. Pulling up on the old scale. I guess we get out and push the button. Was it first way or reway? First way. Company name? Gulch Hay Farms. Do you need a truck number and trailer number? No. Personal? Yes. You're good to pull on through. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we did it, boys and girls. We did it. Alrighty. It worked pretty good. Let's go get a scale ticket. Alrighty, we got him here, we got him here, we got him here. So it looks like... Okie dokie, Smokies. Well, we're out here in the field. I've already come through and stacked them in twos with the skid steer. Got the trunk ready to rock and roll. I've had the skid steer warming up this whole time. So I uh, ought to be nice and ready to go. So uh, let's see how long it loads. It shouldn't take too long, you know. I've just, I don't have anybody to drive for me, so it's going to take some time just to jockey the bales back and forth. But uh, I'm pretty anxious to see what these suckers are going to weigh and what we need to do next. But uh, here we go. I don't like it on the arm. We'll try up here. As you can see, they're about right at five feet a piece. These are heavy suckers, little man. Whew. Well, we're gonna go ahead and get her, uh, get her all strapped down. Comment below what you think these bales weigh. Four by fives. And this is blue stem, mostly blue stem. There's no coastal in this. Yeah, so uh, comment below. Four by fives out of Vermeer baler. They're almost like right on the dot. Four by five. Forty-eight inch by sixty inch. Um, mostly blue stem so it's a stemmy hay it's not exactly the most leafy hay and uh, they're packed tight you can't really stick your finger in them so take all that into consideration they were baled pretty dry I would say between 10 and 12 percent I actually have a moisture tester in the tractor but just guess alrighty we are on the move on the move scales only like five miles from the house so it's not too big of a run too quick of a run but uh, this little thoroughfare the state highway is getting pretty busy this time of year or this time of day or this time of whatever it's getting a little more crowded around here so you gotta keep your head on a swivel but uh it doesn't feel all that heavy i gotta i'm not gonna lie maybe it's a truck but i also had said that about when i was pulling with my 4500 i feel like it's got a lot left in the tank a lot of pedal left for how much hay we think we have on here so I'm really curious to see what the scale says I could be completely wrong and this could be a load and these trucks are just awesome but I'm leaning towards them being a little light so we'll jump on there and yell at the people in the monitor and uh, let's get a scale ticket all right pulling in pulling in boys and girls pulling in Walmart truck just pulled off the scale. We'll go ahead and hop on up there. See what we're really running, you know? See what we're really running. Right about there, maybe. Let's go see real quick. Ugh. Axles, axles, axles. We are good. Give me one second. I'll be right with you. All right, thanks. First way, anyway. 
Uh, Reway. You're good to power through, thank you. Thank you. We did it! That was so much easier than the first time. I guess you just have to know the lingo, you know? This is exciting. Moment of truth. Well, let's just start by saying they're a lot lighter than I expected, but it's good that we're scaling them. First gross empty with this truck was 19,840 pounds with 23 round bales on the trailer of blue stem mix. Our gross is 35,640. The difference between the first scale ticket and this ticket was 15,800 pounds with the 23 bales or divide that number by 23 bills, we get 686. So 700 pounds a piece, which is nothing, really. We we know that these bales are, are lighter because they're more of a stem versus like if you take like a coastal mix, they're gonna be a little heavier because it's almost all leaf and they pack really nicely. Um, stem doesn't weigh as much as the leaf product does, but there you go. The blue stem mix, 700 pounds a piece. Crazy, I did not expect that. All right, we made it back to the house. And there it is. There's a load right there. Hard to believe they're 700 pounds. Well, I did feel like they weren't that heavy. So, they're tight though, man. The tests are hard, hard to get in there. 8.9%. says low battery. And so, we'll say 9 to 10% for all these. Which is pretty dry. You know, a lot of people like to be around that 12 mark. So that hurts you a little too. We typically, when we bail, we'll be more so around that uh, 14 to 15% moisture mark. So that will add some weight to these bales. But uh, not, not, tr not a tremendous amount. Um, so 700 pounds a piece. We ended up with a total of 15,800 pounds on the deck. We had 21,000 pounds on the rear axles. We had 9,240 on the rear, on the rear, on the rear axle of the truck, and that barely changed. That was 5,040 or five, something like that, 5240, something like that. I think there was only a 20-pound difference between empty scale and loaded scale ticket. So, well, let's talk about future plans for the trailer. At first. Since we could afford to put more pin weight on the trailer, we were going to put an axle in the back here since we have room and there's plenty of space for one. And there's not any like framework we have to deal with up front. And then do an equalizer back here so that all three uh, axles are equalized. But <clears throat> with, with what we figured out today, I mean, shoot, there's no reason to, to be honest. So I think we're going to step up to 17.5 rims and wheels and really get a nice rubber rating on the ground, 18 ply tires, 16 or 18 ply tires. Um, we're going to step up, then I don't know if we're gonna, what we're going to do with the tube. It's a 2 and 5 16 ball now. We're probably going to step up to a 3 inch ball and maybe we'll be cutting the tube out and putting a heavier tube in there. For sure we're going to be, I guess, I guess for sure. We're going to be stepping up, I don't know when, but to like a single axle rig tractor or two axle tractor, uh, whether it's an international or something of the nature, but we're going to switch over to fifth wheel plate uh, and put a fifth wheel hook up on that. Um, you know, you can change them out whenever. That's not good. There we go. There we go. This whole time I thought this trailer was getting a workout and really it's it's not even if you step up to 800 pound bills it's really still not getting that much of a workout so you know I feel really good about the situation it just means we can we can move a more amount of money in the same load we're at once you know instead of limiting ourselves to 23 bills maybe we'll be able to do 30 now and then if we slip the neck on the trailer you know we get another four and then maybe if we're feeling a little excited we might be able to slip a rack back here and i don't know that's a pretty big rack probably not we'll probably leave this alone 
but it wouldn't be, be cool. Comment below what you think about a rack to get an additional four bales up here. Well, two on the bottom and two up top. That would give us 34, 38 bales on this trailer. That seems a little excessive. That sounds pretty heavy too. Yeah, I don't know, we'll talk about it. But anyway, I just thought it was interesting. Very interesting. Anyway, I'm done for the day. I thought I would bring y'all along and just kind of see what the new baler's doing. It's really not a great... It really doesn't speak very well to the new baler by any stretch of the imagination. When we've actually scaled similar hay heavier with the old baler. But for a fact, these are heavier, tighter... Or not he they're not heavier. They are tighter bales than our old baler. But it's just the conditions. And it really just goes to show that... Uh, the crop matters on, on weight. I just got off the phone with a friend who's in the hay business and um, you know he, he was talking about how he scaled out of his John Deere baler coastal feel like true coastal which coastal will weigh more. It's more leaf you know you get more dense bales that packs nicer so they are ultimately going to be heavier and then you know throw in the moisture variable and your weights are going to be all over the place but he was saying that uh, for Shizes and Giggles, they would take them to town and get them scaled, and they'd end up around the 900-pound range out of a John Deere baler, which which is about right, which is 200 pounds heavier, which I would expect, you know. Um, so this also makes me want to go scale the coastal bales we have on the ground with the same baler just to see what they did, um, and then we'll know. The crops make a difference, but a, a big part of today, though was you know i wanted to see what the per bale weights were but i also wanted to see uh you know how the the load is distributed um loaded how much weight's on the axle the trailer axles the rear axles the front axles i also have my handy dandy tape measure here to show you that these are indeed five foot bales here this one's sticking out more let's do this one so there's a 60 mark 60 mark going up so they are they're a little heftier over they're probably an inch or two by the time you stop by the time you stop the the tractor when the beeper goes off and the bailer usually run an inch or two over so they are four by fives they're 48 inches wide 60 inches sometimes even a little bigger yeah like i was saying you don't really see people out there scaling the loads and letting us know what the true bale weights are and to be completely honest i was completely thrown off guard when i found out they were only 700 pounds uh, a little light i think but at the end of the day this is the hay we sell this is the hay we bale and uh, the, the all tell will be when we go and scale our, our better quality hay that we have on the ground right now. Or bailed up still in the field. So we're going to grab a couple of those and, and uh, yeah, get on down the road. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new here. Uh, we're fun we're fun crowd to watch, I think, anyway. I love watching myself. Just kidding. <laughs> anyway, Gold Shea Farms loves you. We'll talk to you later. See you guys. Blah, 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 blah.